You are my Lord and my God. Sunday Gospel Reflection for the Family For the second Sunday of Easter, Year C A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John The disciples were afraid of the Jewish leaders, and on the evening of that same Sunday, they locked themselves in a room. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in the middle of the group. He greeted them and showed them his hands and his side. When the disciples saw the Lord, they became very happy. After Jesus had greeted them again, he said, I am sending you just as the Father has sent me. Then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sin, they will be forgiven. But if you don't forgive their sins, they will not be forgiven. Although Thomas the twin was one of the twelve disciples, he was not with the others when Jesus appeared to them. So they told him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, First I must see the nail scars in his hand and touch them with my finger. I must put my hand where the spear went into his side. I won't believe unless I do this. A week later, the disciples were together again, this time Thomas with them. Jesus came in while the doors were still locked and stood in the middle of the group. He greeted his disciples and said to Thomas, Put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into my side. Stop doubting and have faith. Thomas replied, You are my Lord and my God. Jesus said, Thomas, do you have faith because you have seen me? The people who have faith in me without seeing me are the ones who are really blessed. The Gospel of the Lord Gospel Trivia We all have times when we can be a bit like Thomas. We find it hard to believe in God and His love for us. There are times when we are really not sure if God really is here with us. But God is always with us, even though we can't see Him. And the moment we realize this, we experience Jesus' greeting. Peace be with you. Peace can mean different things. For some, peace leads to unity. For others, peace is freedom from violence. But for us, Christians, peace is more of being forgiven and in sharing Jesus' promise of heaven where we will live in real joy forever. This peace can get us through bad times and the fear of dying. Gospel Reflection For the parents, Does my presence at home bring peace and joy, or am I the source of fear and stress for my spouse and my children? Like Jesus, do I model calmness and kindness in times of difficult moments? For the children, Thomas believed in the risen Lord because he saw and touched Jesus. But Jesus said that real believers believe in Jesus even without seeing him. Do I believe in Jesus even if I don't see him? Does the thought of Jesus make me happy especially when I am sad or not feeling well? You may pause to reflect. If you like our reflection guides, please like and subscribe to our channel and share to touch other families.